catch up as we move ahead. I think stage is actually going to be a pretty big uh, factor moving into this set, but nice. it remains to be yeah. seen. Alright, so we are going to start on small battlefield. Okay, okay. I kind of like this. It gives, um... Uh, it, it, it gives Sephiroth a little bit of a smaller distance to start with, but it also gives, like, like a like a pretty decent layout for Mega Man to work with to keep him out as well. Pretty high interaction stage, though. So I don't know, uh... I don't know how, how well it's going to work out for our Sephiroth player here, but... We shall see. I feel like there's a lot of opportunity here for both of these players to be able to shark out landings from the other. Oh, so... Netting stage control is actually going to reward in a big way here. So trying to win out this first bout, it looks like it's going to go into Mega Man's favor, but absolutely. this is where I feel like the one wing is going to really shine as a defensive comeback mechanic. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. In this situation specifically, absolutely. I definitely think think in this position, like with the ability to... <laughs> getting an extra jump to move around uh, Mega Man's pressure or just uh, generally having the um, speed... Uh, will definitely help uh, uh, help Sephiroth in here, but he is going to just just eat eat the core smash and lose that stock. So now he's just got to start with square one here again. So. Yeah, just very basic coverage. I really like these directional metal blade tosses. You highlighted them earlier in the free game, but seeing how much use they're getting from the downwards diagonal toss is also very impressive. Yeah. Pretty, pretty good uh, non-committal landing option. Yeah, I do agree. Yeah, there he goes, throwing it up again, trying to cover, trying to cover an extra double jump, but he is going to get tagged by that backer, unfortunately. Um, oh, the crash bomber. Act, oh. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was going to say the crash bomber really smart there, and he's been going for sure. You can all game finally gets one. Um, hope he slows down with them a little bit because they are very punishable. If uh, JC catches on to them, um, very big punishes could be in order. But thankfully for Pete Bro, it does not matter in this game specifically because he is currently up two stocks. At, 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 at a death percent where he's got to go for it. Yeah, okay, well, just yeah. until I'm sure, never mind. <laughs> nah, yeah, until it's going to do it at that high of percent, especially given how uh, right in his face that Pro's opting for it. One thing I do want to bring up, though, that I think is pretty clever on Pete Pro's half, you brought up a lot of the Mega Uppers, and we are seeing a ton of them. Normally, super laggy moves, super dangerous. I 100% agree with you. But I do want to bring up where he's putting them out. He keeps on putting them out in points of advantage here when he knows he's going to land it out or when he's right below those plats and all of a sudden he's landing on the plats and yeah. all of a sudden that end lag is practically cut to a third because a lot of that time he's spent just landing oh. unfortunately you gotta be careful with those landings just like that yeah. Sephiroth's evening up the playing field yep that up smash really kind of underrated in my opinion it does have like 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 a pretty like a pretty bad close range zone but uh but under platforms it is almost unrivaled it is absolutely ridiculous at covering uh uh tech options on platforms and showing his expertise with it there um but now it's up to it's up to peach people to close it out mega man a character known for uh all right never mind known for shooting <laughs> known for rooting known for shooting and shooting known for pop pop mega man. <laughs> just of course going to be getting that forward smash on the ledge right there and that will close out game one it's not up to jc to kind of get the right counter pick here and, and generally just kind of change his game plan a little bit because he was playing a little he's playing pretty aggro in that first stock and he was getting blown up very heavily for it i think it's one of those situations where like you got to really suss out which buttons to press mm -hmm. and we were seeing a lot of forward air but like i mentioned in our free game like knowing when and where to use that forward is really important because if you can, if you commit to that button and you're not hitting Mega Man, you can't really use that as a spacing tool to prevent Mega Man from getting in on you because he yeah. has Mega Buster and it's not as long as forward air or at least you know, generally speaking, the hitbox from start to finish isn't. Mm. But like yeah. he's got three of them. You've only got one sword. Doesn't matter how long it is. It doesn't matter how long it is. Not at all. All right, we're gonna go to town and city. A lot more space. I think this is a very smart stage. To I agree. Oh, okay. We got the side beyond deck, so uh, Mega Man's gonna have to give up pressure any second now. Yep, there it is. That side B is such an insane move to put in this game, man. It's one of the strong. It might be one of the strongest set play tools in, that I've ever seen in a Smash game. It is so good. It's my all-time favorite projectile in Smash. I think it's the coolest projectile in this entire game. It's on. Uh, it like it. It's, uh, it, it creates so many interesting inter interactions between players when uh, when you land it, and. And that also being kind of lagless, so you see a lot of it too. It's, just, it, it's a very, it's a very fun move to, to mess around with, and and it's really has a, really a, just a lot of really good applications in competitive play. And I really, I really enjoy seeing it used. But unfortunately, not gonna be able to land it. The platform saved. No, nope, I'm not getting that back here. Good DI up. Nope. 
Looking for that Mega Buster there. Can he get knocked off stage? Can we just go for the ledge trap here? Hopefully that also is going to connect. Oh, got that up air. Well, Baron up smash doing a world of good right now for JC as he tries to clean up the stock from Beat Bro, but decent landing options are keeping him safe. Ooh, nice catch on the Metal Blade there. Gonna, gonna catch it and uh, also hit him off stage. Unfortunately, not gonna be able to get the kill from it. And now we're just gonna reset to neutral again. Um, sets are basically the same at this point. It, it's really just who can, who can land the next hit. And that board is still not gonna do it. Oh, that is unfortunate, but we're gonna make it back. Yeah, people are opting to play this out super safe. Just try to fire max distance forward smashes. I like it. He's just trying to keep it as safe as he can. Picks a real good timing to go in with the aggressive option of back air, though. That's going to net first stock for me, yep, too. Yep, turn one right there. Going to be catching that jump from ledge. Oh, Crash Bomber landed. Uh, uh Junior. Um, back air. And that, that Metal Blade, he, uh, I noticed that JC is doing a pretty good job of catching Metal Blade, but he's not using it to full effectiveness, unfortunately. It, it, like, like, a lot of the times when he's catching it, Pete Pro is using it as an opportunity to... Um, uh, the, the push advantage since uh, Sephiroth doesn't have access to his huge buttons when he's holding the metal blade, so it actually makes it more difficult for Sephiroth to play if he catches it. So, uh, generally, I think JC should focus more on, uh, on on making metal blade whiff and uh, and just trying to avoid it and get in, uh, and punish it directly as opposed to catching it. I think it's another one of those situations where you need to really study what your character can and can't do with with items. Especially if you're going to be fighting an item-based character often. Absolutely. Sephiroth doesn't have an especially good item toss, and if you don't really know what to do with Metal Blade, and if you're not confident with being able to Z-drop it and then use your aerials often so that you lock it away from Eggman and keep your buttons, at that point, chuck it in the air. Z-drop it off stage. Do whatever you can to make sure that Pro doesn't have it. Oh, and <laughs> just the wake up, <laughs> the wake up sure you, we are playing a different game now. Alright, mm -hmm. there we go. Leaf Blade is going to connect to you. Double roll, interesting option. He's gonna eat, he's gonna eat some percent for it. Unfortunately, not not enough to really make, make him scared of uh, scared of death here. From anything besides like, uh, like a really tall like back air or like a half charge on smash. We're we're down here now. Not good. <laughs> yeah. and that that and and yeah, that's another thing about short Yukon. It is definitely minus on hit zero. So if so, you won't eat a punish if you do land it. Very uh, good awareness from JC on that. A lot of use of Leaf Shield here, and I'm not gonna lie, I kind of like it. It kind of nullifies the effectiveness of Sephiroth's Neutral Air, which I feel is the button that really gets a lot of things going for this character if you can't use Shadow Flare to lock down your opponent. And Shadow Flare is effectively locked down by the Mega Buster, which, outside of like the lockdown that you get from the Forbes, is functionally very similar. Oh, Too it, reckless it, of a getup, he's safe by his good DI, but I'm very worried about this ledge traffic from here on. I'm gonna get out of it this time. Gonna land that back here, a little bit scary. Got the wing on deck. Oh, yeah, well, once again, the loop shield kind of kind of, kind of, kind of nullifying uh, Sephiroth's close range options just, just utterly and completely. But that leaf shield out, it's, really, it's pretty, it's like very difficult to nail out of shield. You can't really, you can't really like space away and go for a back air out of shield. It's very difficult to just to get away. Oh, that was, oh. Obviously. That hard knuckle almost got it done. Yeah. He was really almost out of here with it. Yeah, un unfortunate interaction for Pete, bro. He is, uh, not, not, not gonna, not gonna convert off of that with Dr. Slash, but. Oh my god, the forward smash all the way across the screen. Not gonna do it. It, 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 this is a little terrifying. JC, JC pretty much needs almost any aerial at this point. Never mind, he's gonna get back a buster mm, and die. 2-0 yep. for Pete Bro. Moving on to winner's finals. Two play Good stuff. High tension ending to the set ending in the Mega Man's favor. I think it was just all about the decision making with the buttons. Mm -hmm. Time and time again, I feel like JC really got caught out just not knowing when was the right time to play. Mm -hmm. I feel like every time we saw a solid punish like that, it was just forward air whiffed. And the reason yeah. forward air was whiffing, that Mega Man was booking it. As soon as he saw that he wasn't landing anything, my man got out of dodge real quick. And that's yeah. what you gotta do. Mega Man's a fairly slow character as well. If he's not able to zone you out properly, or break zone with any of his tools, and make sure that that next hit's leading into something, you gotta heal. Sephiroth, he might have better buttons in the grand scheme of things, but it's a very similar mindset. If you're not making sure that hit's landing into something else, book it. Yeah, absolutely. That yeah, definitely a bit, definitely like like a slight well of matchup and experience coming in from JC. Definitely not, not really knowing how to how to treat Mega Man in neutral and going for a lot of like really high committal options where Mega Man could really just easily punish your landings with that smash, that kill percent, or just really or really just anything. He could definitely like pellet you or 
Or really, or he can get around with a lot of stuff. He also has like some quick burst options like back air to prevent you from pushing forward air before you land. Like a lot of that stuff just wasn't really uh J JC wasn't really moving around like options like that, so it just really shows that uh definitely needs a little bit more practice in the Mega Man matchup, but good performance either way. Um, he is going to be moving down to losers, uh, losers quarter, so he's not at it, uh, not, not done here yet. Um, oh. so, so.